A nurse assistant fired from a mountain nursing home because of missing medication says that she's innocent and she's willing to take a polygraph to prove it. She says Woodfin detectives interviewed her yesterday as a criminal investigation continues. News 13's Kimberly King is live at Emerald Ridge Home. Kim, you have a new report on this case. That's right, Darcel. Health and Human Services have sent us a 17-page document. The report states that there is substantial evidence that two women who worked at the home unnecessarily ordered extra medication. One of the women tells me tonight that the report is up to 2,000 pills are missing, but she says she had no part in their theft. In what are titled 24-hour initial reports, Emerald Ridge Rehab and Care is cited in 11 reports for at least two patients for diversion of resident drugs. On March 29th, missing oxycodone, 5 milligrams and 15 tablets missing from a resident. A report written by Emerald Ridge Executive Director Thomas Hager says, quote, It has been found that a strong amount of evidence supports that Stephanie Angel and Jennifer McKinney had reordered medications unnecessarily. Narcotic medications had been missing with a pattern that coincides with Ms. Angel's and Ms. McKinney's schedules. Both staff members will be reported to the North Carolina Board of Nursing by the Director of Clinical Services. Tonight, we spoke by phone with Jennifer McKinney, who says she's wrongly accused. I'm not double ordering any narcotics. I do have a lawyer, and I am going to sue them for discrimination. McKinney, a certified nurse assistant, says she's worked at the home for 15 years. She says her former supervisor reports a significant number of pain pills are gone. Between 1,300 and 2,000 pills. Oxycodone, maybe some Ambien and Xanax. I'm not exactly sure. Despite repeated requests from News 13, Consulate Healthcare, the corporation that owns the home, will not release details on how many patients' medications have gone missing. I think they should let the people that are here know what's going on with our, our family. Melissa Ward's mom has Alzheimer's. I've been trying to check into it, you know, more details because, you know, if something was happened to my mother, I would burn somebody's butt. But other families say they feel just fine about the home despite the investigation. My father-in-law has been here since uh, mid-February and the staff and everybody have been very helpful so we've had no concerns. The report also states that all employees of the facility have been drug tested. A person who was employed at the uh, nursing home tells us that while she was fired along with four other people, she believes that the investigation should continue. We've been unable to reach Stephanie Angel, the registered nurse who was also part of this investigation and named as one of the people who was accused. No criminal charges so far have been filed by Woodfin Police. Reporting live in Woodfin, Kimberly King, News 13.